I look like the guy from, you know, the kinder, the chocolate yeah. kinder. You put in your energy in something, energy must come back. Yeah, bravo, bravo, hey, ganti bene. Wow, wow, wow. Sponge, what we tell you? I am a Miss Munchie. Are you on the thing so much? You know me, I say Munchie. Come on, Munchie. Yellow Munchie. Wagwan Munchie. Reggaeville family, this is Wagwan Munchie, and this is. Pupa Alma there in the city, yes. Kingston, Jamaica, behind us, or right, to the right side, here, to the side. Right yes. And this is a little um, historical kind of thing because in April 2013, I recorded and published the very first episode of this show. So this make a little 10 year anniversary. Yes. So I'm very happy and excited to share it with, as you say already, no other than Pupa, Pupa Alma. Alma. In the building, in my building. In your building. Yes. Yes. Right. Tell me a little bit, where are we right now? Uh, this is an, my new building. Uh-huh. I'm building also a recording studio. Cool. I'm not going to tell you the name f- for now, but it's brand new construction going on. By We finish by December, hopefully. You know, mm-hmm. Jamaican, you know, a little bit Jamaican time, kind of, you know. But <laughs> we're we soon ready, and it's going to be a private home and a beautiful studio that I'm going to invite a lot of people from all over the world, from the United States, Europe, Africa, you know, South America, just come and record with Pupa Albo or without Pupa Albo, mm-hmm. just come record. All right. And when you're ready, you're going to invite me as well, of right? Of course, you're going, to, you're going to be the engineer. Right. So we, s- we established yeah, that already, <laughs> have it on camera, the contract is sealed, yes, soon, soon. But um, before that, you have our next big project coming up on May 26th right the yeah. new album destiny the cover shows the young alberto da scola little, little alberto, yeah yes. so how old were you when this picture was taken and tell me a bit about this young alberto how was it like uh i don't remember maybe i was like five six mm-hmm. something like that mm-hmm. uh young alberto quiet quiet guy i'm always okay. been a quiet person even up to now i'm very quiet mm-hmm. I'm very observant, quiet. I don't trouble nobody. I stay in one little corner okay. and I mind my business. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. the young Alberto for the album Destiny, May 26. A lot of collaborations. It's a reggae album, mm-hmm. which is an right. event nowadays yeah. because you know many many artists kind of go into a different direction. I keep the reggae going. I keep the vibe going. Even when I I step out a little bit, I still I'm still reggae mm-hmm. because the most important is that we keep the legacy. Yes, we need to keep the legacy. This is a music that we have to embrace. And it is, it's not only about the artists ourselves, it's also about the legacy. Yeah. So we have to look out for the legacy. So Destiny, reggae album, May 26. You see the cover? Yeah. Pure and nice and innocent. Uh, and right, then you, right, you right. turn the city, mm-hmm. rude boy thing. Uh, <laughs> But you mentioned how you were, how did music enter your life really? Because I mean, you started as a teenager already. Um, tell me, when did you know that music was your destiny? Well, you, 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 you don't know, like it's just, it's just catch you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like when you fall in love with, with a person, you know, like it's just, and just blow you away. Like you say, okay, man, like, you know, um, cause my parents are not musical people. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, I, I was very musical, still musical. Mm-hmm. So I used to sing, like, you know, four years old, five. I used to imitate, like, um, Stevie Wonder. Oh, okay. I used to open the drawer, right? I used to live in a project, in a, in a, in a tall building. And there's a, in the middle, there's a yard, like a courtyard. Mm-hmm. And I used to imitate uh, Stevie Wonder. So, and everybody was listening to me on Sunday morning. I just called to say I love you. And the draw was a piano. Yes, and the, and the draw was a piano. <laughs> and then when I finished the song, everybody applauded. Yeah, yeah, bravo, bravo, hey, di bene. And that was my first experience with singing. And then I, my parents see the passion and whatever. They never stopped me. And I start, you know, play guitar and stuff. And, you know, and here we go now talking to you. Imagine. That was my destiny. Yeah. Because in Italy, I had my band, Reggae National Tickets. Right. So I did it, we went very well, established ourselves, touring and all of that. Then I stopped and I came to Jamaica and I started over in Jamaica and then I, I, I did it as Alba Rosi. Mm-hmm. So that means that is my destiny. Yeah, right. I established yeah. myself as a champion mm-hmm. and a champion is a champion, mm-hmm. right? Well, you know, don't get me wrong, you, when, you know, when you win in life, you win within yourself. You're pleased with what you do, 
you are the most important thing and from you satisfied are you at peace with yourself mm -hmm. that's when you win money don't make you win mm -hmm. career don't make you win yourself you are a winner regardless of what you do so when i say i'm a champion i'm a champion within myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm a pupa albo champion and why did you name this particular album now destiny and why did you put that child picture of yours on it are you a point in life where where you feel like all right mafa tell the people this is it i'm a point in life where in within my genre i did everything i supposed to do i did a lot of combinations work with many artists work with all the legend legends that i i, I used to dream of and and i'm at point in life where i enjoy myself mm -hmm. i do i do the music that i like i stay reggae keep myself reggae mm -hmm. uh, sometimes i do some little collaboration with a different artist because Sometimes we have to change, like a little change of the, the, the shirt, and then you put it back on. You know, mm -hmm. like you know, that's mm -hmm. that's who we are. You know, people like cut their ear. People go on vacation. I can't cut my ear because I don't want to. I don't go on vacation because I have to tour. So sometimes I do a little, you know, and then go back within my yeah. yeah. So destiny, because I was destined to do this. Mm -hmm. As I said to you a while ago, I yeah. proved myself from we are back from Italy up to now that that was my destiny, my destination, that where I supposed to be, what I supposed to do. So that's why the, the young child now to the ugly guy like me, you know, it was a, you know, <laughs> hey, the, I look like the guy from, you know, the kinder, the chocolate yeah, kinder. The, yeah, that, yeah, that type of look, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which is controversial, you know, the, the kinder, the kinder, what do you call it, kinder? The kinder chocolate. The kinder chocolate, yeah. yes. Yeah. The, the kinder look and then, no, the Ruggy, ruggy, rasta, you know, whatever. So I, I, that's what I liked about the... And this picture, I have it in my studio, looking at me all the time. Okay, yes. Okay. So when I, you know who gave me the idea for the cover, right? Mm -hmm. Chronix. Okay. Yes, Chronix said, yo, why you don't use that picture there for the album? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the picture we're supposed to use, you know what I'm saying? Eh? And so I say, all right, if I like Chronix, and do it. So ah, I, have to, I have to give, uh, I give him credit, yes, ah, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So, Destiny, we'll talk about this album in depth in just a few from now, but we have to highlight another man who can really rightfully say that music is his destiny, Max Romeo. He's on his ultimate farewell tour through Europe right now, and um, we caught him, of course, when he was playing in Amsterdam as part of the Reggaeville Easter special. <laughs> coming up on May 26. We spoke about the album cover already. And there is an interlude entitled Destination, where you say your life and also your destination. What is your destination? You know that already? You find the place? You know that um, I realized during my journeys, I know I travel the world weekly from left to right, to north to, to south and I realized that my destination is me. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody, nowadays everybody saying, oh, the young generation, the, the young youth, them say, oh, I, I want to make it, I have to make it. And when I say make it, they, they, they mean that they want to be successfully uh, recognized in terms of job, mm -hmm. money, career. Right. And I only realized now that I reached my destination, which is my home, mm -hmm. my family, myself. I completed my my journey as a as a man. Mm -hmm. You know, I did my experience. I work. I have a family, I have kids. So I complete my my mission when it comes to me being a human being on this earth. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. I did it with my music. I did it personally as a as a man, as a human being. So I reached my destination. Um, when I go sleep. 
I don't dream money. I dream visions and what to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I keep it like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have one song on the album where you sing focus, right? You sing yes. focus because you have one life and not two, right? Mm -hmm. So focus on the right things. Um, are you a very determined and focused person? I, I, from my impression, I would say so. But do you also find yourself struggling with that at times when you have to look at yourself in the mirror and maybe saying exactly those lyrics to yourself? When I'm under stress, I usually work better. You know, if I'm relaxed, I'm not productive. Mm -hmm. Under stress, I'm very productive. I'm very fast also. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to focus. F focus on the things you love to do. Mm -hmm. Invest in it, mm -hmm. your time. And then things will get back to you. Mm -hmm. And that's guaranteed. That is a, is a law of life. It's a circle of life, you know. You put in your energy in something, energy must come back. Because mm -hmm. energy goes, energy comes. Mm -hmm. So you focus on the thing you love to do. And these things will reward you. You mentioned previously um, already that it's a reggae album. And I think it's a, it's, it's, and that's a compliment, a typical Alborosi album. Yes. The songs we love, we hear them on yes. the album. But I think I would say it's Jamaican music on a whole because you have reggae, you have rubber dub, you have a song killer, Nassau, track name general, you have dub on it as well, of course. Um, which musicians did contribute to this exquisite mixture of music and what did you do yourself? Um, I collaborate with um, Aston Junior is, is on the album. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of work with Giuseppe Coppola, the, yeah, the drummer big from, finger. yes, the Big Finger, yes. Yeah, He's a, a very good friend of mine, so me and him work. He's very passionate about reggae music, mm -hmm. so we share the same passion, so I do a lot of work with him. Um, obviously, most of the tracks I produce them also, you know, myself. Mm -hmm. And we have a couple of people, you know, Fletcher, BS Play and whatever, mm -hmm. but, you know, um, most of the album is, you know, I, mm -hmm. I'm, behind, I'm, I'm the man behind it and also mix it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it all depends if we load it, if we, if our, you know, budget, whatever, I do everything myself, you know, home, mm -hmm. home studio, mm -hmm. drink a coffee, work on the album, and yes. Mm -hmm. And what I didn't mention was a love song, which is also on it, right? The, not the last one, but the, the, the almost last track, I Got You. You're my ray of sun um, yes. when the storm is over my head. Yes. Wonderful song, wonderful <laughs> lyrics. So who did you dedicate this one to? My life in general, you know, mm -hmm. we as people, we have experience, go through experiences, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, and and... My daughter, my wife, you know, these are the, my mother. Mm -hmm. These are the females in my life. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's for them. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned already you have a whole of collaborations. Burubantan is on it. Kabaka Pyramid Bujubantan. is on it. And Bujubantan. Burubantan <laughs> and Bujubantan. A lot of Bantan. Yeah, yes. Bantan. Yes. How was working with the Gaga? I mean... I'm a fan, so yeah. I'm a fan of their music and whatever. These people, they are legends, you know, they they contribute to the world, to the world, to, to the world culture, cult, music culture, even if it's reggae or dancehall. This little country really changed the world mm -hmm. with its music. So they are the pioneers, they contribute to even the sound of nowadays sound, even trap. People fail to understand that trap come from reggae. Because trap is sing jay. Mm -hmm. And I say it all the time. But they don't like to hear that. Because from hip hop, mem remember reggae created hip hop music. Right. And then from hip hop, they it moved to trap. Right. But that style, that sing jay style, come from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. right. From Sizzler, from Kipleton, from, you know, you just name them. I don't want to leave nobody, you know, but just name them. All the sing jay Jamaica, the Bobo Youth, them, they, you know, they, they. also the Rasta culture. Because mm -hmm. uh, um, Khaled start doing it also, mm -hmm. you know. It's more the hip hop start to sing more, mm -hmm. put melodies into words, and that is classic of reggae sing jay style. You know, look what I'm Mountains and run about and keep it on, you know, just ja, ja, sitting. Ja. So the rapper them start doing it too, mm -hmm. put a little melody in it. Because the inspiration come from reggae. Right, right. 
it's 100 percent like nobody can tell me nothing else so this country this little island and these pioneers from bujubantan burabantan and the whole of them they are really the inspiration for these people mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. you know from dembo music reggaeton jamaica created mm -hmm. they capitalized what jamaica created and speaking um, about the collaborations once more, there is one person on the door which is not a Jamaica. That is a bit surprising. Royal Throne. Mm. Turkish rapper Ezel is on that track. How did this collaboration oh. then come about? Well, we have many friends. Eh? Right. I'm here talking to you yeah. from Germany, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, so we are a big family. Mm -hmm. We are not politicians that divide and conquer. We unify people mm -hmm. through the music, through what we do, through our passion. So that's what we do. So we have many friends all over the world. We know, we know big superstars, and we know you know humble people. We are humble ourselves. So we we humble people. We we work. You know we work. We contribute. We don't. We are not here to to to, to try to to travel in a helicopter and buy one big yacht and park it right there. We are here to contribute to the world. So tomorrow for the next generation, say oh. I'm here, this guy did this, I'm gonna do this, and the next guy gonna do that. Mm -hmm. That's what we do, it's a legacy. It's like when you're in your room, you clean the room for your guests them to come in. Make sure your room look good. I, I'm building this, I'm building a beautiful studio, state of the art, and tomorrow somebody else is gonna get it. Mm -hmm. The same thing like oh, when me get the, the, the channel one mixing board, all the King Toby stuff, whatever. It's this little guy from Italy get it from the Jamaicans, Italian, then tomorrow is going to be somebody else. Right. That's how life go. Yeah. So we're not, we're not only doing it for ourselves, but we're doing it for the cause. Mm -hmm. And Azel, is that same spirit, would you say? Is that, is that important also to work with like-minded people that you have a vibe with? Yes, well, we work with anybody. Because remember, we as musicians, right? Um, like I'm doing reggae, Azel doing more like trap, like pop music, whatever, but guess what? Music is music. Mm -hmm. It's a language. I'm a producer. I do jazz, Cuban music, you know, cumbia from Colombia, Mexico. I do like, you know, salsa. I do rock, you know, Metallica. Right. I have a beautiful um, cover of, of, of The Doors, uh, Riders on the Storm, which is a dub version. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's coming out soon, by the way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. so we, we're doing a lot of things. We're collaborating. I have the new song with Piero Palou, Italian rock star. Right. Uh, we still do it in a like a reggae type of vibe and whatever so you know we do music we do music music without limitation still me follow my my journey mm -hmm. but you know we open to collaboration with everybody mm -hmm. we spoke so much about the tracks but one track i really don't want to leave out because it might be my favorite track which is the last one double list and i was really researching very hard to find out who this person is, Sugus, or if that's a sample, and I couldn't figure it out. So please tell me about this song. Sugus is um, my wife's grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, well, she's not on Google, obviously. Yes, no. She she used to do background vocals for Count Asi, yes. and the Naya Bingi, all the Naya Bingi, whatever. So um, also within the family, we have Vegas. And the, the mighty Tamlins, as part of the family, we have Bobby and Winston Guineer, the saxophone players from the Scatellites went to Germany to Berlin Orchestra. So it's a musical family, and Sugus, she has an amazing voice. Yeah, I really, really. Yeah, I so love it. that's Sugus right there. Okay. So this is very interesting now. This makes this whole track even more special to you as well? Yes, but um, I'm, a, I'm an herbalist, also, I'm a doubleist. Mm -hmm. So yeah, <laughs> it's a beautiful song. It's a dub, dub wise, you know, vibe, and the lyrics they are kind of. It's a, it's a little journey, you know. I feel mm -hmm. so mellow, like a jello, mm -hmm. you know. That's the the song. It's a little like meditation, you yeah, know, yeah. cannabis vibe. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, but it has this very charismatic vibe to the, the tone of her voice. Mm -hmm. I love that man. Yeah. So one track I don't want to uh, leave out though. Face, face is a song that you did with Jazz Elise. She's Jazz also Elise, featured yes. on the album. Yes. And you say faith is not religion, and to every angel there's a demon out there. Um, what is your definition, your personal definition of spirituality? And is it sometimes hard for you coming from the Catholic Italy to express that, especially in your home country to people, maybe even to family? Well, I have faith in 
in myself, I have faith in you, I have faith in other world, in other people. So faith is not only like spiritual faith, it's also you have faith. You have faith that things are going to go into the right direction and you know, you keep yourself positive, you focus, you know, because Jah watch over your shoulder, you know, and we must be together because I got you, right? So you see every title kind of, and then when you feel down, you, you still have some little Rasta Zeneca, right. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so every title so faith no Jazelle is she's a good friend of mine I believe in Jazzy from day one um, even before she joined protege so wonderful artist she look amazing she sound amazing she gonna do so well just keep working and you know so I like to work with the, the younger artists it is a must um, because you know what was there for me it is right that he share with them also mm -hmm. So yeah. that's what we do, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you heard enough about the tracks already. You can look out and look forward to hearing them. May 26 is when the album will really? drop. Yeah. But yeah. Speak, speaking of, of talented females, young females like Jazzy for example, also Lila Ike has just been on tour through Japan and now through Europe. Of course, we caught her also when she was uh, on the road, also as part of the Reggae Easter special. By the way, you can check all the live videos there from also Loot and Fire, Droop Line and so forth. All of them are on the Reggae YouTube channel, just like this piece from Lila Ike in Hamburg. I'm gonna fall in love with I'm gonna fall in love Sing it to your ears, sing it up I'm gonna fall in love with Hamburg I wanna fall in love with Hamburg I'm gonna fall in love with Hamburg tonight Tonight, yes Tonight Rasta Zeneca, you mentioned that one already. I have to ask you for that still because 420 is just gone. So how did you spend 420? By the way, Rasta Zeneca, of course, if you never re realize, it's a ganja anthem, right? So how was 420? All my 420 was like regular. <laughs> I was working, so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that it was 420. My every day is 420 for me, so okay, I don't know. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, but you have great things ahead of you. The, the album will drop on May 26th, and this is when you will be touring the West Coast of the U.S. Yes. So how is that day going to go down? Well, that? we're going on a three-week tour, mm -hmm. uh, the South Coast, and then I'm going to Europe again for the summer, and then South America. And we're closing the year. We're also doing some Pacific Islands. And so we're going to do a lot of places where, you know, Cape Verde, we're going to go to Reunion oh. Island, we're going to go places like that. We need to spread a message, man. People need like the, but you have to you have to do it in a way that people accept it also nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So we change the formats a little bit okay. because you don't want to stress out people too much over certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a time where people very opinionated. So you have right. to know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. You have to say it. You know, let the music talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know, that's I want to say something. Yeah, say something. I thought you wanted to say something a long time ago already. And I, this is my invitation to the artist. If you was a singer, sing, because you're not a politician. Politician talk, the Pope talk, the politician in talk, the king and the queen, they talk. The singers, they sing. So chat less and sing more. Boom. All right. So I think then we should also chat less, right? <laughs> No, because you're a journalist. <laughs> right, I have to. So I have to answer your questions. So you have the right to say a lot of things. So I'm don't talk, me don't no, talk now. Yeah, finish. No, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I think, yeah. <laughs> I think we talked so much about the album. You were gonna love it just as much as I did. So look out for it coming May 26th. Anything you would want to add to that, to the regular family, the Wagwan Munchi family on this 10 year, 10 year anniversary thing? Just get the album. See. It's a nice album. You're gonna travel all over Europe, uh, the Catch world. Catch life, yeah. Yeah, man, just, you know, just come to my shows, listen to reggae music, mm -hmm. support reggae. We're going to make reggae music great again. Ah, <laughs> yeah, man, as always, Pupalu. Respect. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for the invitation. Thank Enough you. love as always and be thank safe you on the road. And, you know, keep going. Thank you for the love. God bless you all. <laughs>